Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel. Today guys, I want to talk about Timepiece Gentleman and his partner, well former business partner Marco. And I was on the interweb looking around and I see they've rebranded. There's What's happened is Timepiece Gentleman Anthony Ferrer and Marco have split Marco seems to be running with the old timepiece gentleman business. Um, he seems to have all the douchebags that worked for timepiece gentlemen before over at this new, well, this, this is the, the new business. And they're rebranding, rebranding as Grand Caliber. Grand Caliber. And uh, I, I'm going to be totally, totally, totally totally honest with you there um <clears throat> what can i say <coughs> what do i say what do i think what do i say well you know what i think instead of being called grand caliber it should be called grand expenditure because all i see is these dickheads spending spending money uh and then they, they mentioned it's going to be 700 square feet. <laughs> so, sorry? 700,000. Sorry. 7,000. 7,000 square feet? Can't be. Can't be. Um, <clears throat> I got to tell you something. It's interesting. I thought the timepiece gentleman was the reckless spend. He's the guy who spent money like a drunken sailor in a whorehouse. <clears throat> Maybe not booze, but coke. A drunken, uh, well, a, a coke-induced sailor in a whorehouse. And I got to tell you, man, I got to tell you, this is just ridiculous. It's funny. Marco sits there looking all nice and thin. Weight loss 2000. Looks like he's lost a little bit of weight there. He's driving around in his fancy wancy Audi, and he's also he's sitting in his house. I, I mean, I love this guy. You can tell it's a boy's own house. Massive fish tank, tropical fish tank, expensive as fuck. Um, and I noticed with the furniture, Marco's style of furniture, he likes those exposed tree trunk sort of. You know, where they get an old tree trunk and they slice it and dice it and turn it into expense. He likes that sort of shit because that's the same. He's got a dining table like that. And in the the uh, premiere video where they're sitting around drinking whiskey, uh, I notice he's got a, one of those big boardroom desks, similar style. So that I thought the spending problems was... Anthony Farah. I thought he was the hoodlum with the checkbook. But it appears to me that's not the case. That is not the case. It appears to me that it's actually, they're both just as crazy at spending money. And the thing I love is, I love the way Marco's sitting there revealing the plans. They're all yes men, all his staff. No, no criticism, no criticism of them, but they're not doers, they're employees. They're not, you know, they just don't have that spark to do their own business. And they're all back slapping, what a great job. Why doesn't anyone say, hey, Marco, what the fuck are you spending? Fuck, this sounds expensive. They're leaving it with the architects and designer for three weeks. Fuck! What are they charging? <coughs> what the fuck are they charging? I mean, they're selling second-hand Rolex second-hand watches. Do they need fancy fucking tropical fish tanks? Do they need Amazon trunk tree trunk boardroom tables? <coughs> Man! You know, the most successful watch shops that I've ever seen uh, are people like European Watch Gallery, Shawnee in Melbourne. 
Small, like a phone booth. His store is like a phone booth in Collins Street. Small, but it's got Patek Philippe and expensive watches there. Uh, I mean, I don't understand what Marco's trying to do. He's trying to make it an experience. Marco, get your head out of your ass. Get your head out of your ass. Because all I see is reckless expenditure. Not only do I see a very expensive Audi S automobile you poncing around in, which you happen to have fucked up the front spoiler, but you have seemed to just be spend, spend, spend. I thought the reason you and Anthony Farrah had the argument was because Anthony, Anthony was fucking out of control with the expenditure. But no, you seem to be just as easy to spend the moolah. And I can tell by your tropical fish tank. Man, fuck me dead. You know what? I want a fucking Ducati or a Harley Davidson in my lounge room. That's what I'd really fucking like. You don't have to always do this shit. You know, you have the impulse. It's going to be really cool. Uh, you end up looking like a total douchebag. Total douchebag. Uh, you know, a $20,000 aquarium in the lounge room. Uh, what's that worth secondhand by any chance? I gotta tell you, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. It is crazy shit. Absolutely crazy, crazy shit. That's what it is, man. The expenditure of these boys, it's ridiculous it's absolutely positively ridiculous these guys spending money like drunken viking sailors seven thousand square foot that's 650 meters that, that can't be right Are you sure i mean a big office is 250 square meters they can't be that can't be seven thousand square feet that's not possible what the fuck are they running? Are they running a nightclub? Are they running a fucking hotel? Or it's a second-hand watch store? I can't fucking believe this. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all fucking mumbo-jumbo crap. Guys, calm down with the spending. Otherwise, you're going to have to get the hairy checkbook out to pay for this fucking thing. It is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and um man it is fucking crazy these guys spend money i just never seen it i i thought anthony farrow was the spenderholic i thought you know, because you, you you see about it, he's got a, he's been back onto the cocaine again, and uh, you know you, you you know you know what they say, and he's he's fallen off the wagon, and now he I don't know what the fuck is going on with that guy. I mean the ego, ego out of fucking control. A hundred, he was renting ninety thousand, well ninety five thousand US a month. Fucking hell, Lamborghini, all these. Fancy wancy, then he wonders why he gets robbed. Man, stop acting like a punts. Stop acting like a punts. That's what I would say. And as for Marco, I don't think he's any better. Fucking ridiculous fish tanks. He's got fucking architects. It's a shop fit out. You want? I tell you, you know what I'd do if I if you want to build this business? I reckon a hundred square meters would be pretty fucking huge. You know, I, I looked at BQ watches. They got no fancy wancy shit anywhere. Big safe, staff area, eating area. There's no fancy wancy bars and just relax, create. Man, you want the watch or you fuck off. I mean, Jesus Christ, what is this? This is like kindergarten for rich pricks. You know, kindergarten for delusional fantasists. I, I got to tell you, man, it's, it's, I'm looking at, uh, grand caliber. All I see is grand expenditure. Grand bankruptcy. That's the way it's going to end in six months' time. The watch market is fucked. 
It's falling. It's falling like a stone. And these clowns want to spend a million US on a fit out. Fucking crazy. 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 Don't worry about fancy fucking vintage feel clubs. You're selling secondhand Viking watches, okay? I just cannot believe it. The expenditure, the madness, the craziness of it. I thought. I thought it was Anthony, the problems would be fixed up when he fucked off, when his ego finally exploded. But Marco, Marco's no better. And he's surrounded by yes men. Those dickheads aren't going to tell you that they wouldn't know nothing about business. They're not sensible. Get someone sensible in like me. I'll do a consultancy for you, Marco. I'll fucking tell you, you're going to cut the prices. Cut, slash, slash. You want a compact store. You don't want fancy, wancy. You guys are delusional fucking fantasists. That's what you are. Delusional fucking fantasists. Okay, guys. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Put some comments below. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later, fuckers. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a rolex at retail it's futile please guys save your dignity keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw David S.W. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017 worldwide shipping and distribution over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory stock in hand and 90 plus different brands new and pre-owned now the good thing about watchshopping.com trusted by over 4,000 reviews on chrono 24 and trust pilot your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.